Okay, morning guys. What we're looking at here is some seven week old walking catfish. Uh, today I'm gonna pull out a hundred fish, about a hundred anyway, the biggest one. I'm gonna try and size them anyway and move them to another tank. I did this last time at four weeks. I took out 150 that time. And the only reason to do this is nothing to do with amount of water. It's all to do with the dirty water. And uh, these guys are making the water insanely dirty right now because they eat so much, you know? A couple kilos a day or more they're eating. Actually, I've never weighed it, so I don't know, but I say a couple kilos on a, on a good day. Uh, these guys like to live like this, you know, this is the kind of fish it is. They like to live in a, in a big ball. They're looking good. Uh, I said before I lost a lot of these when they were young. But for the last three weeks, I've only lost one. That one. And he's nine inches long, which is pretty good. You know, that was a few days ago. There's some big fish in there. This one, I don't, right over here, it's turned over now. Before it was a white belly. That's a 10 inch fish for sure, 12 inch. 10, 11 inches for sure, I guess. So I plan to uh, take out about 100 of the bigger ones and put them in the big concrete tank. That's the plan for today. As you can see, they're all not the same size. That is very normal. But you got most are around the same size, you know. You got a few that are bigger and a bunch that are tiny. I see one with a big mark on his head. That's not good. So let's get them out. Ah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, there goes a little one. This is the tank they're going to go in. I noticed uh, yesterday there's a few uh, mosquito larvae in here. Not a lot, but a few. The water in here all came from rain. You can see the green stuff settled at the bottom. That is the algae. Hopefully it stays dead, but I do plan on covering the tank with whatever I can find. It won't be an actual top yet. But I got, I don't know, maybe only 50 fish didn't take very many but I took the bigger ones we're gonna set them free in here give them lots of water and let them do their thing I think I was too selective I don't have very many <laughs> I think I'll be adding more later there's not many fish there not what I had planned there we go Cool. I'm sure you can't see much. They're stirring, up, stirring the water out right away, which is to be expected. I'll get a pump in here and let them do their thing. They'll be happy with this green water, though. As long as it don't get too green and suck all the oxygen out, they like they like murky water. That's simple, you know. There they are. They're nine, ten inches each. I did plan on harvesting by that size, but I don't have many of them, so and I have this tank. Oh, one made the journey down the end. You see the difference between the water down there? That's that fish. 
And there's a few. And then right here, where they're stirring it up. <laughs> it did not take long. That's for sure. The bubbles is from the foam, from the fish in the box. It's just fish slime. Very normal. So I'll get a filter on here and filter this all day. And then tonight I'll give them more water. I think they'll be happy in here. Okay guys, so that's it. As you can see, their water is dirty already. That does happen with the fish. When they're stressed out, they start spitting out all the food that, that they've recently eaten, anything that's not digested. That's one thing I've learned with the fish when they're stressed out or there's a problem, they start regurgitating their food. I've noticed a couple times, uh, there'd be no floating food in it, all of a sudden there's floating food in the water, you know. That means something is wrong. They haven't fed them yet today. What's this? <laughs> yeah, they like to eat. That's for sure. All right, guys. So that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Now the water's gonna get even dirtier. You can't do that. <laughs>